Hey everyone, Val here. Hi. With Steve. Is that who I am? And we are going Are you to, sure? Are yeah. You sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. I'm just tired. I'm on Alaska time. So, uh, we have a no tag for August, the no, no tag Tuesday. And these questions are from Sandy over at Life with Sandy. And she just got off vacation, so she decided to do vacation questions. And I just kind of sort of got off vacation. It was kind of a work vacation. It was a missions trip slash vacation to Alaska. Some of the videos are out, so if you want to check out any of those, check out my playlist for Alaska. There will be more videos coming. I haven't finished them all yet. But uh, let's do a vacation tag. Shall we? Sure. Sure. Question number one. Would you rather travel with a friend, family, or your significant other? Depends on what it is. That's true. It would depend on what kind of travel you're doing. Like if I was going hunting, I'd want to go with family. I don't think my significant other would have a good time with that. So that's not a travel that I would want to do with my significant other. If I'm going on a cruise or going on an adventure, I want my significant other. True. There's some things that we do, like scuba diving, that nobody else in the family does, so it wouldn't make sense to go on a scuba diving adventure, adventure with family. Mm -hmm. But my sisters, two of my sisters, have done sister trips with me this year and uh, we've enjoyed them so this trip to Alaska was we had a great time um, would I have had a great time with Steve yeah so it really wouldn't have mattered either way but um, I don't mind traveling with family I don't mind traveling with significant other so uh, friends I don't really have friends I travel with so that one I don't know about so Either way, it's good with us, Sandy. Number two, would you rather travel to a new place or return to the same place annually? Probably a new place. Yeah, definitely a new place. We like some of the same places now and again, but we like seeing something new. That's the fun of travel. So, Or if you go to the same place and do something different, maybe. But, yeah, something different. Question number three, if time wasn't an issue, would you rather travel by ship, train, plane, or car? I'm, a, I'm saying no to the airplane after this past experience. Planes are out. <laughs> um, Depends on what kind of ship. Yeah. You specify ship. What kind of ship? Yeah. I like a Navy ship. <laughs> But a cruise ship would be fine, you know, as long as it's the right cruise line. Uh, we are a little picky. I don't mind traveling by car. We have the time to do that. Yeah. A little more control of things if you go by car. Yeah, you can spend as long as you want. You control it. Mm -hmm. well, it just depends. Um, definitely not. I'm, I'm so done with airplanes right now. So... I'll do a vlog on that one. We had a terrible, terrible experience both ways with our airplane. Uh, okay, so we're going to go with... Uh, car. Car. Yeah, car is good. All right. All right. Number four, would you rather plan to take your trip by teleportation or the usual way of traveling, such as car, train, ship, car... Well, since the teleportation is such a new idea in the travel industry right now, I'm going to go with the usual way. I am too, because you can see more. If you just go from point A to point B, it's probably because you're in a hurry. But I like to travel. I like to take my time and see as many sites as I can. So, mm -hmm. yeah, cars usual good. usual way of travel. Yeah. Number five. Would you rather get stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for an hour... Or drive an hour out of the way to get to where you are going. Hour out of the way, definitely. Yeah, I think so too. Never know what you'll see. Mm -hmm. So, could find something. 
Um, and that doesn't even like regular travel, like work travel and day-to-day -day travel. I hate being stuck in traffic. Uh, number six, would you rather have a two-week paid vacation overseas or a paid four-week vacation, but you have to stay at home? Paid four weeks is good with me. Yeah, if I don't mind staying at home. There's a lot of things we can see around here, mm -hmm. around the lake. We can do a lot of fishing. We can do some hiking. We can, a lot of things we could do. So yeah, four weeks is good. Uh, number five, would you rather stay in a luxurious hotel that didn't change the sheets or a clean hotel with a weird smell? <laughs> this Hello. is a tricky question now, Sandy. I don't know. So it's hard to say there. Are you saying they didn't change the sheets before we got there or they didn't change them while we're there? Because that would make a difference yeah, to me. Yeah, well, I would have to agree with you there on that. Yeah. That's kind of what I was just thinking. So, I don't know. I don't think I could handle a weird smell. Depends what the smell is. I don't know that I could handle it. I don't uh, he probably couldn't. He doesn't like different smells. Um, if it was us and we got there and they didn't change the sheets while we were there and we were there maybe a week, then I wouldn't have a problem with that. But if they didn't change the sheets from the person before us, I'm not sleeping in the bed. So they'd have to change the sheets. I would have to deal with the weird smell. Maybe we just find a so new we hotel. Just don't, we, we just don't have a correct answer then. That's the problem. We just don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> We're going to go look for another hotel. Sorry. <laughs> um, All right. All right. Number eight, would you rather travel to anywhere in the real universe or travel to a fictional place? Where and why? Well, I'm going to make it easy on myself. The real universe. Yeah. That way I ain't got to say the where and why. Where would you want to travel in the real universe? Oh, I got to answer There's that. There's so many places that we could go that we haven't gone. I'd like to get in an RV and just go cross country, go out west, see the, some of the stuff I saw as a child, like Grand Canyon and stuff like that. But I'd like to go back and, and revisit those places I haven't seen as an adult. An RV trip would be very cool. But fictional place, I'm not interested in fictional places. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you have a place you'd want to see in the real universe? Sure. Grand Canyon would be nice. There's a Grand Canyon in Pennsylvania. It's all kind of natural uh, wonders in the states that would be good to go see. In the mm -hmm. universe. Yeah. Um, nine. Would you rather plan your own trip or let the locals tell you the best places or things to do? You're a planner, so you'd have to plan it. I'm sorry. Well, but the, you'd have to plan your own trip. I do plan my own trips. I do, but that doesn't mean I don't listen to the locals because even in Alaska, we had plans to hike a certain waterfall glacier to see a glacier, and the lady at our bed and breakfast told us that she told us what we would see and said we wouldn't be happy. We'd be happier to do a different hike instead which we ended up doing and we were very happy we did so um, in comparing the two looking at travel brochures one looks grander but it really in essence wasn't so we did listen to the locals and we did listen to the locals on where to eat some places to eat and we got some, some of the best food so she has had a change of heart now, so, so she's going to listen to the locals. I'm going to have a plan, though, because I don't want to get up there and not have any plan of what to do on wherever I go. I'm going to have a plan. She's, okay, so her answer is both. I can be easily swayed. <laughs> <laughs> her answer is both. Yeah. We'll put it to a vote. Yeah. But I'll have a plan, but I can be, the locals can turn me in a different direction. I'll be good with that. What about you? What about me? I am not as much of having to have the plan thing as you are. I can, sometimes I can just wing it. So, if it means winging it, asking a local, I can do that. I'm, more, I, you know, I'm not a big, you already know that about me. 
Right. And sometimes that's not good. Sometimes it's okay, but sometimes, sometimes it's, it's not. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes it bites you in the butt. Yeah. That's true. All right. And the reason I'm a planner is because when I was in the service, and I used to go back to New York on my time off, um, and we would sit around and going, what do you want to do today? Oh, I don't know. What do you want to do today? And we would do that all day, and then we wouldn't do anything. So I said, before I ever go back home again, I'm going to have a plan of what I'm doing, even if we're not going to do anything. That's our plan. Uh, because I don't want to sit around and say, what do you want to do all day? And then we never do anything. So, and it would be the same if we were to go somewhere and we get there and say, uh, what do you want to see? Oh, I don't know. Well, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Well, you know, and that's, we do that sometimes. It's yeah, like, what sometimes. do you want for dinner? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So we end up, somebody has to make a decision. So it's better for me to have a plan because the I don't knows kind of drive me crazy. So that's my thing. Um... Would you rather, number 10, have free travel for life or free gasoline for 20 years? Oh, I'd rather have free travel for life. Yeah, absolutely. Because 20 years... 20 years from now, there's not going to be any gas cars. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> So there'll be no power either. Mm. <laughs> Don't get us started. Mm. Um, but we may not be driving in 20 years. I might be too old to, to even get behind the wheel of a car. Speak for yourself. Not yeah, me. Just, I won't be too old. Yeah, he can't drive now. Um, I'll just drive slower. <laughs> slower than what? Um, anyway, let's k carry on. So, yeah, travel. Because, I mean, you can travel even if you can't drive. You can take a taxi or something and then get to where you need to go and get on the cruise ship. So, yeah, we'll take free travel. That works for us. Oh, we have a bonus question. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, the bonus question, would you rather know the truth of all the mysteries of the world or be able to teleport anywhere in the world for the rest of your life? You can bring someone with you. I don't really care about the mysteries of the world. Do you care about the mysteries of the world? Eh. Yeah, let's go ahead and try the teleport thing, I guess. I guess. Since it's an option. On this one, we will take the teleport. Since we can't drive. All right, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was, yeah. That was cool. So, uh, thank you for the question, Sandy. I will put the link to Sandy's channel and everybody else that does the collabs um, in the description box below. So, check out all the channels and see if there are teleporters. And uh, that's about all. Anything else? I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> She is. I bet if I bet if we both sat down and tried to take a nap, I bet I'd fall asleep first. He would, because I'm not a napper, and he can sit down and be asleep in five minutes. And I found out my sisters can too. Both of my sisters, as soon as they sit down, they're sleeping. So, because they snore. Y'all snore if you're watching this. <laughs> say no. That's one thing about traveling with sisters. They snore. All right, I'm, I'm out of this combo. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good day. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And uh, Steve's gone to take a nap. Bye now.